Welcome back to a new video, guys. If you remember my project back here, this is actually my 12 volt solar generator. It has a 35 amp hour lead acid battery in it. Lead acid batteries are super heavy. Thing weighs about 50 pounds. It's not too fun to carry that thing over 100 feet. Well, I need something that had the same amount of power but was a lot lighter. So I designed this. This is a lithium ion battery box. It has the same features of 12 volt socket and USB ports, but it's much lighter. If you guys want to know how I built that, stay tuned. Let me show you. Okay, so here is the heart of my project. This is my custom built lithium ion battery. So what I wanted to do was found, I wanted to find something that was pretty modular, uh, easy to modify, and that would be fairly safe to do. And so I was looking on eBay and I found a listing of these Dell laptop batteries. So these are actually batteries, uh, they're uh, high capacity lithium ion batteries, 18650s, and they are, the pack itself is a 3S, three pole battery. So it's actually three batteries in series with three in parallel. So uh, I wanted to find a way that I could use this so I opened one up and I revealed a control board that was along this edge that was just soldered directly into the charging leads of each battery. So I took an oscillating saw and cut very carefully along this edge and that revealed the control board. Uh, you don't want to get too close to the batteries so I cut you know right around here and that revealed a control board that looked like this. And the control board sitting in the battery like this and it has four uh, lead soldered onto the battery, so one, two, three, four. And so basically I just desoldered that and it popped right off. So then I was left um, with, you know, these batteries all exposed with perfect charging leads at each point. So what I decided to do is I uh, hot glued each of the packs together, wrapped the electrical tape around it so it wouldn't move, um, made a pretty good heavy brick here, um, and then I took some 10 gauge wire and I soldered each of the batteries together in parallel. So now all these are sitting in parallel. So I have a 3S battery with 12 in parallel. Um, being such a ba big battery, you have to, it's really important that it's uh, balance charged. All the cells are the same voltage. So I attached a charging, a balance charge lead for a 3S battery and soldered up, you know, here, 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 and here and um, I was able to balance charge this battery. So um, all in all, it's actually very lightweight for what it is versus lead acid. Um, it's got a lot of power. This is, each one of these packs is a 97 watt hour battery, around nine amp, hour, nine amp hours of power. So um, that's a 400 watt hour battery. So for the weight, this is extremely lightweight. Um, I plan to charge it with um, a hobby grade charger. This is the current one that I've been using for years and it works well with all my other uh, lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries. So uh, basically just hook up the leads and uh, hook up the balance a charger here and charge it up. So just out of comparison, um, I actually have my old project sitting here. This is my this is my lead acid project. Um, this is my solar um, generator. I'll put the link up here so you can see a video on that. But basically this has a 35 amp hour lead, uh, lead acid battery in it. It's super heavy, but uh, it works pretty well. You can uh, go ahead and see what the voltage is, turn it on, you got all the you got USB ports, 12 volt socket, um, I have the charge I have a panel here where I plug in my solar panel um, and everything works well. So it's, it's a really good project. I still use it all the time. But I just wanted something a little bit lightweight. Something I could take with me that was portable. So came up with this one. So the uh, dimensions actually fit this battery perfectly. So I'll go ahead and show you how everything goes together. Okay, so in order to um, install my control panel on here, I just taped the control panel to the box itself and then what I did is I took a hole and just uh, or a sharpie and I marked in the middle of each of these points 
And so with the middle being marked, I was able to just you know, peel this off. And then what I did is I took a, um, I realized this would be a lot easier if you used a one and a quarter inch hole saw, which I don't have. So what I had to do is I used a spade bit that was an inch, and then I had to use a utility knife to cut the rest out. And you can see this is the uh, spade bit hole. Looks really nice, it's perfect, except for when you have to make it bigger. So that's what that is. So now what I can do is I can just uh, mount this right up. And so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so here I have with the panel installed. Um, so basically I just have uh, two USB ports, 12 volt port, and a power switch. So I'm just going to turn that on. And uh, gives you the reading of the actual battery state and uh, ability to run something off of 12 volt or USB. So yeah, I kind of like the way that works. Uh, it looks clean. I haven't decided if I'm going to screw it in yet. Um, both of these have a washer on the back that screws on to hold it pretty good. So let's go ahead and show you the inside. So super simple. So basically I have the battery pack and then I have um, just all the wires that came. So the whole thing came as a kit. It's all pre-wired, super easy. All you have to do is hook on to your positive and your negative terminals. So um, all the wires are going in. So then I have a negative wire here. This negative wire goes to the negative power lead here. Just twist it on. And then I have the positive wire coming off. I did replace the positive wire with a wire that had an inline fuse. So positive line has a fuse and that hooks to the positive terminal. So all it is is the battery powering these two uh, these two devices with the power switch. Super simple. I'm able to balance, charge the battery still, or charge by the leads. I haven't decided how I want to move forward with it, but man, that fits in there just so perfectly. Um, I do have a piece of foam down in there. I want to be able to, um, what I think I'm going to do is uh, put foam around the entire battery, a little bit on the bottom and then around the whole sides, so then it just won't move at all. So size-wise, it's probably a quarter of the weight, maybe even less. Um, yes, this does have the solar charge controller built in and it has the ability to charge with the solar panel. Um, I'm still going to kind of work out something with that. I know there are some chargers on the market that would uh, that do uh, work with lithium-ion batteries. It's just the technology's not quite there yet, so uh, not fully trusting in that yet. But uh, basically, these uh, I'm going to plan on using both of these. Um, this one's going to be for my more heavy uses, um, more my heavy draw power, things like that. And then the smaller one is for uh, kind of, you know, the cell phones, uh, a little fan, things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the, the battery pack and see uh, how it runs this 12 volt fan. Um, this fan is called an O2 cool fan. It is an amazing fan for camping. You put this thing in the tent and it cools the tent off so much. So let's go ahead and power it up. Okay, 12 volts powered. Let's go ahead and turn the fan on. So that's high setting. It's like blasting. And that's low. Let's see, it brings the voltage down a little bit. But not too bad. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about either of these projects, you know, just leave a comment below and I'll reach out to you. Um, so I'm really into being uh, prepared for emergencies and things like that. And so, you know, building either one of these projects allows you to have power, uh, a stored amount of power and a lot of it um, for um, just any emergency. The other thing that I uh, was thinking of is um, having this this charger here, this charger will run off 12 volts and with a solar panel plugged into this battery I could use this charger to charge this battery and it would be just free energy from the sun um, not only if 
the power is out, will I be able to charge either of these batteries? But I will be able to um, either charge up cell phones or flashlight batteries, 18650s, uh, and a loop uh, AA batteries, any way that I can help myself be more, more prepared for an emergency or make uh, camping a better experience, I'm all about that. And that's what these boxes provide. Just, uh, you know, they're fun to tinker with, fun to have around, but also they are very useful. So I just invite each of you guys to, you know, take the time, do some research and build one yourself. I'll have all the parts uh, in the description below. I'll have a link to this project as well. And uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.